I think we'd have took this a week ago, uh, all considering the fire sale that we had. Um, <sighs> disappointed, but I do think 1-1 was probably the fair result in the end. We probably weren't the best going forward. We had chances, but nothing, no major chances, especially when they went down to 10 men. Uh, they shut up shop rightfully so. You would do, you know, like we were on top of them with 11, I think, for most of the game. There was probably a 10-minute period once they scored where they were probably on top. And then the rest of the time we had possession, we just couldn't really get any clear-cut chances, which is disappointing. But, you know, this is a side that had three new additions in it and, you know, they don't know the system yet. I have to say, Joe Worrell was immense yesterday. Uh, the commentary on Sky... Did nothing but praise him and I couldn't agree more. He won every every duel possible. He was unbelievable. Absolutely immense. And I think we've got a really good sign in there. Really underrated. Because um, I think a lot of people are excited to see the attacking talent. But I appreciate a good defender, being a Burnley fan. <laughs> um, but I think it was the most competitive derby we've had with Blackburn for a few years now. Um and I feel like both sets of teams were happy with the result in some ways because we probably would have, I mean, I, like I said, I, I think a lot of us would have taken the point comfortably about a week ago or two weeks ago when we were losing players. So I think I think Blackburn would have happily took a point anyway just to finally get something off us. But I think overall, I'm disappointed we didn't win, but I'm happy we didn't lose. And it seems so like sitting on the fence, but... I do think a couple of weeks down the line when Park has had these players for a bit longer um, and they know the routine, it'll be a different story when we play them again, hopefully. Albeit, we'll probably have a couple of injuries knowing our luck. Um, I thought, for me, Worrell was probably our best defender. I thought he, he looked really good with Esteve. Um I don't know who I'd give my man the match to. I'm going to give it to Worrell from one defender to another. I thought he was ace. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm disappointed we didn't win, but I'll take a point. I'll take a point. It's not the end of the world, you know. Um, I trust the process and I trust Scott Parker, which is the main thing. And he's so honest, and I think we've we've done really well to get a coach of his caliber in because you can see that he he really cares already, and he's 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 brutal and he's honest. And I think that's something Burnley fans respect more than uh, puff pieces from company, but. Yeah, that's all I've got to say on the matter. It's over with now. can have a couple of weeks of not thinking about Burnley too much. Uh, so, yeah, enjoy the international break, guys. See you later.